Hi, welcome to my percents practice quiz. And we got six questions. I'll get started. And the first one, the original price of a toaster is $35. If the toaster is marked down 29%, what is the new price? Well, I will start with number one right here. And we take that $35 toaster, the $35 toaster, and we have to subtract 29% of it. So 29% as a decimal is 0.29. And it's 29% of the 35 of means to multiply. And so we do this up. I have to, I order of operations means I have to subtract these first. I'm mean, subtract, I have to multiply these first. So 0.29 times 35 is ten dollars fifteen cents. So it's thirty-five dollars minus ten dollars fifteen cents. I got something under here. And so I'm just gonna my quick way is I just subtract thirty-five. It's gonna be a negative, but it'll be my answer. Twenty-four dollars eighty-five cents. Twenty-four dollars eighty-five cents. And that's my answer. And I guess, you know, we see this here, and it's D. Okay. Um, number two. Number two is uh, Daniel bought a computer game for $25 and sold, <laughs> S-O-L-D, sold it to Thomas for 40% profit. How much did Daniel sell the computer game? So he profited. When you profit, you increase it by that amount. So $25. $25. Instead of subtracting, we're now going to add 40%, which is 0.40 as a decimal, 40% of the $25. So I'm going to multiply 0.40 or 0.4 times 25. That's the that's this part right here. And that equals $10. And so that's $10 plus the 25. That's pretty easy. We can do that in our head. That's $35. Not bad. Number three. So number three. Whew, boy, this big paragraph here. Ling Mean owns an ice cream shop on Saturday evening from 6 to 7. 80 people entered her shop. On Tuesday, from 3 to 4, 17 people entered her shop. What was the percent decrease? We know it's a decrease because it goes from 80 to 17. Percent decrease in customers given uh, from the given hour on Saturday to the given hour on Tuesday. If necessary, round your answer to the nearest hundredth of a percent. Okay, so it goes from 80 to 70. We need to subtract those and divide by that first number, 80. So... Uh, 80 minus 17 divided by that first number that we were given, which was 80. 80 minus 17, that's uh, 63, I think. <laughs> Better make sure. 80 minus 17, 63. Okay, so 63 divided by the 80. Divided by 80. 0. 0.7875. That equals 0.7875. And that is equal to, move the decimal two times to the right. That's 78.75%. And let's see what they say, the nearest hundredth of a percent. So this is already to the hundredth place. So that is it. No rounding needed on this one. Number four. Number four is the price of a train ticket from Orlando to Atlanta is normally $118. However, the train company is offering a special 75% discount to children under the age of 16. What is the sale price of a ticket from Orlando to Atlanta uh, from Orlando to Atlanta for someone under the age of 16? So it's 118 and we get to drop it 75%. So we have $118 minus 75%, which is 0.75 as a decimal, of $118. And so we have, uh, I'll multiply these two together first. Uh, what was that? 0 0.75. 0 
75 times 118 is $88.50. So that's $88.50 and 118 minus that. I can just do my little quick minus 118. It's going to be negative, but the answer is there. Uh, $29.50. Wow, that's a deal. $29.50. There you go. Now, what you could do too is, well, uh, I mean, if you don't, you could also do 118 times 0.25 because you don't pay 75%, but you do pay 25%. So if I did 118 times 0.25, that's the same 29.5, $29.50, which is that. So, or, or you can do 118 times 0.25, which equals $29.50. So I thought I'd just throw that in there. Number five. Number five is 45 is 26% of what number? If necessary, round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So 45 is 26% of what number? 45 is is 26% of what number? Um, this is, I, I like to circle this, that 45 is, and the of what number, because that sets us up for the P over 100 equals is over of. We can set up a proportion. 45 is the is, and the is goes on the top right. So 45. The 26 is the percent. P stands for percent. So that's 26. And the O is over 100 on the bottom left. Uh, of what number? Ah, we don't know. So that's where the X goes. And then we would cross multiply. 45 times 100 is 4,500. See, you just 45 with two zeros. Uh, and that equals 26 times X. And then you just need to divide both sides by 26. These cancel. And then you have uh, 4,500 divided by uh, 26. 26. 173.07. One, or 173.076. And uh, this... So we round to the nearest hundredth, but that six, let me bring it in tight here. That six right there bumps that up to an eight. So it'd be 173.08. And uh, that's it. Of what number? That is the number right there. Okay. And finally, we have number six. A store marks up. Sporting goods, 27%. Write an expression for the retail price of an item with an original cost of P dollars. It goes up 27%. So uh, for number six, we have uh, something with P dollars, and we have to increase it by 27%. So it's plus 0.27 to represent the 27% of that price. And, and there you go. There it is. Or you can see that you have one P, that's 1P, the P is 1P plus 0.27 of the P, and 1 plus 0.27 is 1.27P. So you can use this expression, or you can use this expression. Either one would get you full credit. And there you go. That's the nuts and bolts of this whole thing. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye.